Russia is intensifying its attack against Ukraine. Russian forces have attacked a TV tower in Ukraine's capital. The Kiev Independent says TV channels have stopped broadcasting. This comes hours after Russia warned it would attack facilities in Kiev. Joining us now is retired U.S. Marine Colonel David LePan. He's also a former Pentagon and DHS spokesperson. Uh, Colonel De LePan, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, Russia thank you for clearly has. Me. Russia has clearly ramped up its attacks in the last day. Um, we're hearing about this attack on a TV tower. Where else can we expect Russian forces to strike? So I think we, we will continue to see uh, Russian forces concentrate most of their combat power on the large cities, Kyiv and, and Kharkiv. Uh, it's no surprise that they've attacked a TV tower. I'm sure they're concerned uh, that they are behind in the information war. Uh, President Zelensky and the Ukrainians have been very adept at uh, information war, turning the tables on Russian propaganda. And so attacking a TV tower to try to limit the information that's getting out uh, makes sense from a military perspective. Uh, but I do see in the days and weeks ahead, Russia will continue uh, its bombardment and shelling and attacking the large cities. And, and Colonel, to your point, uh, this 40-mile convoy of Russian forces, that certainly sounds ominous, doesn't it? I mean, we know the Ukrainians have put up quite a fight against Russian forces so far. But, uh, you know, in, at the end of the day, they cannot match up against Russia. So I is this the beginning of the end? I wouldn't say it's the beginning of the end. The, the uh, Ukrainian forces are clearly overmatched by the Russian military in terms of personnel and equipment and, and sophistication. Um, but they're defending their own territory and they're doing so very bravely. Um, that convoy uh, does include a lot of forces, uh, but some are supply. Um, and I think that the Ukrainians at this point are focused uh, more internally on protecting things, and they will in due course um, attack that convoy um, using all means that they have. Colonel David LePan, thank you so much for your time. We really appreciate it. Thank you.